Welcome to Supported Scaffolding Safety in Construction Environments, an interactive training program. This course is available with closed captioning. Would you like to enable closed captioning? At the end of this course, you will know how to prepare a site for erecting a scaffold, be able to properly assemble scaffolding components, and know how to safely access and work on scaffolding. Press the forward hand to begin the introduction to supported scaffolding safety. At the end of this topic, you should be able to describe where and why scaffolding is used, be able to identify supported scaffolding components, and understand OSHA's basic training requirements for working on supported scaffolding. They say that workers who consistently do a great job have reached the top of their professions. That's especially true if you work on a scaffold. Scaffolds are an important part of the construction process. They help workers complete otherwise impossible jobs in hard to reach places. Even though ladders can be used to reach work that is high off the ground, only scaffolds offer large enough work areas to safely hold workers, supplies, and equipment. Scaffolds are tools that make our jobs easier. And like all tools, it's important to know how to use them correctly. Otherwise, serious accidents can occur. In fact, there are an estimated 10,000 scaffold-related accidents each year. In order to reduce these incidents and protect workers, OSHA has developed training and safety regulations specifically for working on scaffolds. While there are many kinds of scaffolds covered by OSHA standards, this program will concentrate on supported scaffolds. Supported scaffolds are platforms that are held up by rigid supports, such as poles, legs, uprights, posts, or frames, that are in turn anchored to the ground for stability. OSHA requires that workers who use supported scaffolds be trained in a number of areas, including the proper use and placement of scaffolds, assembly and disassembly of a scaffold, how to safely handle materials while working on a scaffold, and how to prevent falls. Yet, even though workers must undergo this thorough training, OSHA also requires that a scaffold expert be on site where a scaffold is being erected or used at all times. This person is responsible for designing each scaffold, supervising scaffold construction, enforcing safety regulations, and resolving any problems related to scaffolds. Supported scaffolds are platforms that are held up by rigid supports, such as poles, legs, uprights, posts, or frames, that are in turn anchored to the ground for stability. Click on a topic you want to review. If you do not want to review a topic, press the forward hand to continue. You will now be given a brief test to see what you have learned. This test consists of three questions. 
If you answer two or more of the questions correctly, you will advance to the next topic. If you do not, you will automatically review the current topic. Please press the forward hand to take the topic test.